ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for tonight's main event. Ten rounds, middleweights going at it. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. And his opponent across the ring with a record of 36 victories, 25 big knockouts, and three defeats by Will Wilmington, Sugar Ray Leonard. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All right, let's go. The opening three minutes of this 10 round fight. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Sugar Ray Leonard. Flush right hand to the head. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made throughout the fight? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. He may find out that he better stop looking for home runs, stop swinging for the fences. He may have to adjust his game ways using the jab more, looking for singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. That's it, just A like headshot that. blocked. Halfway through round number one. Leonard's defense is paying off now. Keep your distance. Very accurate two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Nice block by Andre Bishop. Sugar Ray Leonard's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Nice defense. Good block by Andre Bishop. Bishop's punch is far off the target. Good defense just covering up down low. Last 10 seconds. The body. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a fine jab by Andre Bishop. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Finish with the he returns the favor with an uppercut. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Sugar Ray Leonard. The hook came home with ease. A great train uppercut by Andre Bishop. Come on. Get Halfway through this round. Nice strike after catching one by Sugar Ray Leonard. 
Good defensive skill with the block by Andre Bishop. Sugar Ray Leonard lands a big left hand. That's what I want Blocks see. the headshot. Nice work by Todd. There it is! He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. You're winning, man. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got to keep Just keep doing what you're doing. Nice round, Andre. Keep it. Leonard's fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. That's okay, let's go! If you had to add anything to Sugar Ray Leonard's arsenal, what would it be? Where is there room for improvement? No, I don't think, to me, this is a guy, and I don't say this too often, I don't know, very rarely, and if I do, it's with the old-time fighters, you know, not the contemporary fighters so much. There's not a real lot to add to Sugar Ray Leonard. I mean, this is a guy that has developed in every area that you would want a fighter to develop in. And I think that the greatest thing about him in some ways is he has that great sense of anticipation, like Ali, you know, Roy Jones had those kind of fighters. But he doesn't depend only on that. He puts it in with good technique. Leonard's jab lands well. What a big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? over. Leonard's unable to get up and continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, you're Bishop's able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early.